To me, there's nothing more pure than getting your loved ones, jumping on a catamaran, and sailing in the trade winds. I'm so happy to share this experience with you all today on board Hero's Journey, a 2020 Fountain Peugeot Elba 45 owner's version. My name is Wiley Sharp with Catamaran Central. Let's go sailing. We're going to begin today's tour here on the foredeck and specifically on the port bow. A couple of things I want to point out here is first you have access to your port forepeak as well as ventilation for the master head and you'll see all of the hatches throughout are flush mounted hatches. Continuing center line on the foredeck we have these large day beds with ratcheting backs and another really nice thing is beneath those day beds you have two large storage lazarettes one which has your quick anchor windlass and a pocket for your oversized Mantis anchor. Through here, we have access to the starboard four peak, which is another large storage compartment here on the boat. And above that, we have the starboard dolphin seat, which you'll see there's also a mirror over on the port side. Let's go ahead and make our way aft, and there's a few features I'd like to point out. One of the nice aftermarket options were these grab rails, making transiting the foredeck far easier and safer. Now we're gonna go up to the flybridge next and come back to the helm, so definitely stick around for that. So the Sky Lounge on the Elba 45 is honestly one of my favorite aspects of the boat, and that comes from personal experience of spending time sailing around in the Virgin Islands on boats like this. This is always everybody's favorite place when we're underway or at night just to watch the stars and listen to music. So we've got a nice large day bed all the way forward and a massive U-shaped settee that just creates a really safe yet comfortable place to hang out. Before we make our way down to the helm, it's also worth noting that this boat's got solar equipment, which allows you to remain completely off the grid, even in the most remote locations. Let's go ahead and make our way down to the helm real quickly. The helm on the Elba 45 is divided into two equally important areas. The sailing area forward where we're gonna start and the helm position just after that. Now this helm arrangement is so functional, it's very easy for single-handed sail control or if you've got other people that wanna partake in the sailing, the helmsman is not impacted by a couple of people in front of him. So on Hero's Journey, all of the sail control lines lead right back here to these winches, making it a very, very easy and safe boat to operate because there's no need to go up to the foredeck. The rig on Hero's Journey is a powerful double spreader rig with plenty of horsepower from her square top mainsail as well as the Genoa. And as you look up the mast, you'll also see the Garmin radar there giving you peace of mind in both foggy conditions at night or just inclement weather all around. In addition to that rigging on the boat, the owners of this boat also opted for the factory installed bowsprit. Port side, we have the first of three Lumar winches that have all of the mainsail controls leading directly to them. Center line, we've got the jib sheets running back to this winch. And then on the outboard side, we have all the halyards and reefing lines running back. Now, all these lines are on jammers, and so it is possible to use the electric winch for about 95% of your sailing, making this an easy boat for even the laziest of sailors to go out sailing on. Every good builder like Fountain Peugeot knows how to take a great design and make it better. And the helm arrangement on the Elba 45 is a perfect example of that. They took what was already a great helm arrangement on the Helia 44 and improved upon it. So a couple of things that I love about this helm design over the Helia 44 is that the console is actually at an angle, which makes it far easier to read those displays from just about anywhere here at the helm. I also like that they've moved the autopilot control here to the outboard side. And I very much like the fact that they kept these engine controls all the way outboard, which allows you to stand out on the weather deck while coming into a slip. A couple of features at this console that are worth pointing out specifically are the Garmin touchscreen chart plotter. And this boat is equipped with not only AIS, but also radar. And then over here, we've got a couple of multifunction displays, uh, which give you all the relevant data to safely navigate this vessel. Below that, we have a uh, traditional compass. We've got the engine control panels. Now on the port side of the console, we have our engine gauges, as well as a remote for the quick anchor windlass, allowing you to deploy the anchor right from the helm. From here, we're gonna go check out the most used and arguably most important space on any cruising catamaran, the cockpit. 
Like I said, the cockpit is arguably the most important space on any cruising catamaran. And for those that have never seen my videos before, there's a few reasons why. You need to have great seating, good protection from the elements, plenty of storage, including cold storage. Hero's Journey covers all of those three needs. So from a comfort perspective, we've got a large day bed over here on the starboard side, bench seating center line, L-shaped settee for alfresco dining, and a day bed all the way on the outboard side. Now from a storage component, we've got dry storage here on the starboard side. We have cold storage here in the refrigerator, storage center line, as well as storage all the way aft in the cockpit, giving you plenty of space for all of your water sport toys, spare parts, tools, all of those things you need when you're cruising around. And the third thing that's important is protection from the elements. And what that means to me is protection from the passing rain squall, as well as the sun. And with this large composite hard top over the cockpit, we've got more than enough protection from the elements. Before we make our way into the salon, let's just check out the mechanical spaces on board Hero's Journey. Over here on the port side, we have the first of two upgraded Volvo engines, which are 60 horsepower motors in this case, paired to a sail drive, as well as the water maker. We also on this port sugar scoop have the swim ladder and a hot cold shower. Now, as we move across the center line of the boat, we will see the dinghy davits here, as well as the barbecue grill. And just outboard of that, we have the electric winch, which makes deploying and retrieving the tender super simple. And then underfoot here on the starboard side, we've got the starboard upgraded Volvo engine, as well as the house batteries. The generator is conveniently placed up forward in one of those forward lazarettes, keeping it whisper quiet while you're sitting back here in the cockpit. Making our way into the salon, the Elba 45 embodies what all modern catamaran salons should be like in this size range. It's bright, it's open, it's airy, it's got plenty of storage, plenty of workspaces like here in the galley, as well as a large lounging area starboard forward. The galley is divided into two distinct areas. The area aft here with the dual basin sink and under counter freezer with additional storage, also the convection oven, and four to the companionway to the owner's stateroom, we've got additional workspace in a three burner gas cooktop with tons of storage down below. Adjacent to the galley starboard forward, we have the large lounge-like U-shaped settee with tons of storage down below, as well as extremely comfortable seating. It's also got the coffee table option with built-in storage, just another place on this boat to carry all of the gear you need, no matter where in the world you're taking the boat. Not only is the CT here a great place for watching a movie or escaping that midday sun, but you've also got tons of visibility through these large windows all around, as well as additional light coming from the skylights above head. Making our way starboard aft, we've got the two drawer style refrigerators, a small workstation, the VHF radio, and then the television, which retracts out from the wall mount here, giving you a great view from no matter where you are in the city. We're gonna make our way down the starboard companionway and check out the two guest staterooms, starting out with the starboard forward cabin. We're gonna check out the forward cabin first. On the way there though, you'll see a large hanging lazarette. As we make our way into the space, there's a lot of natural light that comes from the outboard window, as well as plenty of ventilation from the Lumar hatch above head. You'll also see more than adequate storage, both underfoot as well as in the hanging lockers. Now, continuing aft from there, we check out what I would consider the VIP stateroom, which is very close in dimension to what the actual sleeping quarters are in the owner's stateroom with a semi walk around queen berth, large window aft, large window on the outboard side, as well as an opening hatch overhead. Now, both of these staterooms are en suite with heads on the outboard side, each with its own separate shower stall, making them both fully dry heads. There's a good reason why 45 foot catamarans in an owner's layout are so hard to come by. And it's because of just the immense space that allows you to have all the creature comforts at home while still maintaining a lower operating cost and ease of operation not found on larger yachts. 
So the aft section of the stateroom is where your sleeping quarters are. It's a semi walk around queen size berth that's just flooded with natural light coming from the overhead opening hatch. Storage underfoot as well as storage on the inboard side. Now, as we continue our way forward, you're going to see even more storage on both the inboard side here, as well as above the desk, a nice workstation with storage beneath the workspace and countertop. And additional storage as we continue into what I would call the walk in closet section, which is right before your head. Large single basin sink, storage behind the mirror, storage beneath the countertop, and arguably the best shower on any 45 foot cruise in Catamaran. And then all the way forward, we've got a separate compartment where the head is stored. Well, that's kind of coming to the end of our time here on Hero's Journey today. We're pulling into Keneal Bay in St. John and going to pick up a mooring ball. But I hope you guys enjoyed your time today on board as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you all. If you have any questions on the boat, definitely leave a comment down below. Shoot me an email. And as always, if you like this channel, please hit the subscribe button. It means so much to my wife and I. Thanks and have a good day.